Hey, John, thanks for coming on Super User TV to talk about the user survey. One of the big things we learned from the user survey was now 65% of OpenStack deployments are in production. What does that mean? So that's a large growth year over year on the amount of production workloads that we're seeing in OpenStack. And this is something that we kind of anticipated as the project becomes more mature and more people are rolling that out. Yeah. Um, and it'd be interesting to see what the ceiling for that is because most people who have production deployments also have test deployments. So we're, we're not looking to achieve a 100% number. Um, but seeing that growth year over year is a good indication of the maturity of the product. Yeah, it was exciting to see it. 33% more clouds in production this year compared to just a year ago. So another big stat we saw in the user survey that was very different from the previous user survey is around standardized APIs and that being a business driver for user survey takers. We had about 1,600 people take the user survey this time and last, last survey they told us uh, only 60% of them indicated that standardizing on the APIs was important to them, but then this survey, 97% of them indicated it was a top five business driver. Well, that's clearly something that, as an organization, we need to look at. Um, mm -hmm. And it seems to indicate to me that um, people are looking at OpenStack as the de facto private cloud uh, toolkit. Um, and I think that it means initiatives that we have, like the DEF Core initiative, to define what is OpenStack um, from a brand level perspective are really important in defining the, the future of projects. So let's look at one other stat, which is the NPS score, the Net Promoter Score. Um, what we saw over the last three surveys is a nine point increase in our NPS score, both among people who have deployments and among all users who answered the user survey. So it's great to see increasing user satisfaction. What I'm curious about is what do you think it's going to take to continue to move the needle in the right direction in terms of increasing user satisfaction with OpenStack? Well, it's always good to see that we are headed in a positive direction. Um, some of the other things that came up in the user survey uh, on the, the negative side, areas that we can improve, it are around complexity, um, both for deployment and operations. Mm -hmm. um, so I think if we focus on making deployments easier, reducing the required complexity to get a working cloud, um, then we can move that forward. That's great. Could you tell us a little bit more about some of the ways the user survey is used beyond just making a report and how the user committee is using it? With the, uh, the new Big Tent infrastructure um, that OpenStack is using. Um, there's the Project Navigator. <laughs> the Project Navigator yeah. on the OpenStack.org uh, site allows people to see the maturity levels of various projects um, so that you can, and a lot of the keys that are made, put together to make the determination of the maturity level do come out of the user survey, um, such as the number of production deployments that each project is used in. Yeah. Well, thank you for taking time to talk about the user survey, and I'm looking forward to another successful round. Thanks, Heidi.